But first, all new at 5, CMS getting ready to ask the school board for more money to better staff schools with counselors. Hello, everyone, and thank you for staying with us. I'm Fred Shropshire. And I'm Sarah French. The request comes on the heels of a deadly shooting inside the hallways of Butler High School last year. Bobby McKeithen shot and killed in front of his classmates. CMS looking to add more counselors to schools to help students cope with day-to-day -day life and school leaders hoping the addition will have a positive ripple effect. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez live at 5. And Tanya, a lot of these kids are still coping with what they saw back in October. I mean, when you think about how young they are and what they've had to come to grips with, this is going to be a process of healing that's going to be long for them. The district recognizes that, so they are applying for a federal grant, one they hope will directly help the students at Butler. The horror in the hallway. GSW Butler High School. Students can't unsee it. I just saw him like pull out the gun and like point it at him. I just got off that hall. My first thought was to run because everybody else was running. Life at Butler High School after one of their friends shot and killed another one of their friends. I'm right there. I hear pop, pop, pop. A new normal. One that requires more coping skills. And school leaders say that means they need more help to get kids through the day. Tonight, asking the school board to approve a $95,000 federal grant application. Money that would be used to put more mental health services directly into Butler High. Hoping to improve attendance records, add a part-time social worker, and implement a program called Sources of Strength. Our mission is to ensure that during the rough times, no one gets so overwhelmed or hopeless that they want to give up. If we can catch those things early, and especially having someone in the school system, they're in the loop a little bit better. CMS, a district that has struggled in recent years to hire social, emotional, and mental health support staff, falling extremely short of the national recommendation for social workers, psychologists, and counselors. We have a lot of situations where counselors have a large load of students that they're working with, and I believe any time you have a, a big load of students or a small load of students, I think that sometimes details can go unknown. The meeting gets underway in a little less than an hour. We will let you know what the board decides. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Tanya, thank you.